Okay, so here's a, this is actually a customer's dashboard. Uh, if you're using Meraki today, you're familiar with this. If you're not, this is what our dashboard looks like at a very high level. <clears throat> but just to go into the licensing, I'm just going to go under organization, and I'm going to go under license info. And this is what a typical licensing screen looks like. So it tells me, you know, right off the bat that the license status is okay, which means I'm in compliance. Uh, it tells me that I'm in the co-termination model. Uh, and if you look right under there, that's basically where you start the process to convert to per device licenses. And again, it's a couple of clicks to be able to do that. <clears throat> this tells me <clears throat> when my license expiration date is. Did I lose something here? Okay. Um, it tells me what security level, um, what security license I have on my MX appliances. <clears throat> and then underneath here, it tells me the different devices that I have licensed. It tells me what my license limit is and how many devices I currently have licensed. For So for instance, the very top one, the MS120, I have seven licenses, but I'm, <clears throat> I'm actually only have six devices that are on the network using using licenses. So I actually have an extra license available as well. So again, this is, you know, how, very simple how you do this. This is how you can go in and see what you want. Um, and if you were to add another Meraki device, you would see that this license expiration date would push out. And again, all of these devices under this organization here are all going to expire on September 6, 2022, if there's no other changes made. If you were to convert this to per device licensing, each of these devices would maintain that expiration date, but it would be applied per device. Okay, so with that, I just wanted to kind of show everybody that very, very quickly.